Rental stock levels on rewa.com are at their lowest in 12 years with just 1,675 properties available for rent at the end of September. Now the last time the levels were this low was in November 2010 with 1,537 properties available for rent. Rewa President Damien Collins said now was a challenging time for tenants with rental supply struggling to keep up with Perth's growing population. Mr Collins said, Perth's population has increased by 20% since November 2010, which highlights how low the current stock level is. Construction delays and labour shortages means families are renting for longer while they wait for houses to be built, which is contributing to the tight rental market. Mum and dad investors who have rental properties to offer to tenants in WA are critical for ensuring rents remain as affordable as, as possible. And our research shows that 72% of people who own investment properties own only one and are most likely working as school teachers, nurses or other healthcare professionals. Any changes to WA's tenancy laws that discourage investors from buying residential property in WA will make an already tough situation worse. That's why Rewa is working hard to keep tenancy laws fair and equitable for all parties. And that is all from Rewa President Damien Collins. Now let's get into the details with this month's Perth market update. So CoreLogic's Perth Home Value Index declined 0.4% in September. However, Perth remains better positioned than other Australian jurisdictions with strong buyer demand and many properties still selling quickly. Despite the decline in overall home values, our data revealed there were a number of Perth suburbs to record strong house price growth, Mr Collins said. WA is still in an excellent position for price growth with our strong economy, growing population and limited stock levels. Now the five suburbs to record the biggest increases in price during September were Singleton up 3.9%, to $535,000, Ocean Reef up 2.8% to $915,000, Beckingham up 2.7% $467,500, uh, Bibra Lake up 2.7% $610,000 and South Perth up 2.5% to $1.55 million. Now other properties to perform well were Falcon, Safety Bay, Dawesville, Bullsbrook and Melbourne. Now there were 8,040 properties listed for sale on Rewa.com at the end of September which is 1.8% lower than August. And Mr. Collins said low availability of properties continues to be a key reason why WA is not seeing significant falls in prices like the eastern states are. Now the median time to sell a house declined to 15 days in September, which is two days faster than August. And Mr. Collins said, we are still well below a balanced market, which is about 30 to 40 days, with quick selling times and low stock for sale fueling buyer competition. Now these market conditions still point towards a seller's market. Now the suburbs to record the fastest selling times were Coolangup, which was three days, Palmyra, five days, Warmbra, Tapping and Success, all at six days. And the other fast selling suburbs were Clarkson, Butler, Netherlands, Darlington and Seville Grove. Now Perth's median rent price was $495 per week in September, which is $15 more than August. It's not surprising that rent prices have increased given that listings are at a 12 year low, Mr. Collins said. Unfortunately, rents will continue to rise until we see more rental properties come onto the market. Now, it took a median of 16 days to lease a rental during September, which is the same as August. And the fastest leasing suburbs were uh, Maddington at seven days, Tapping eight days, and then we had Byford, Chewett Hill and Piara Waters all at nine days. Now, other suburbs to record fast leasing times were Greenfields, Warmbra, Yanchep, June Danner, and Gosnells. Now overall, Mr. Collins said, there are clearly challenges in the rental market. However, we had the most affordable housing client, uh, climate, I should say, in the country, an enviable lifestyle, plentiful job opportunities, and a strong economy making a sta our state a very attractive option for people wishing to move here, which is why our population growth is so high. Now, well guys, that is it from me today. Now, please remember to like, comment, and share this video. And if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week. And remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, that's action. Thanks a lot, bye for now.